Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see future videos. Today, I am working on this super cute tumbler that involves glitter, alcohol ink, and cow print. So I'm starting out with this actually, it's a sublimated, sublimation tumbler but I don't like the shape of it for sublimation, so I'm using it just for this. So I'm gonna sand it down just to get that top coat off um, and I don't have to paint it. So I'm sanding it down um, just to give it a rough um, uh, surface to start with. And then once I get it done sanded, I will wipe it down with 91% alcohol and then um, I'll be able to start. So watch me sand this tumbler. So once that's done, I take my Mod Podge and I give it a really nice, healthy um, painting coat, coat, that's the word I'm looking for, of Mod Podge. And I go over the entire tumbler. And yes, that is a wet and wild makeup brush. It applies Mod Podge amazingly. So the first uh, glitter I'm using is Snow Flurry by the Glitter Heart Company and uh, I thought this was going to give me the the look that I really wanted um, and I'm kind of running low on it but uh, and I knew I'd have to do two coats of glitter anyway but um, once it dried I realized that this was not the glitter that I wanted. Um, so I ended up switching um, the glitter um, for my second coat. But yeah, this is Snow Flurries. So now I'm going with my second coat of glitter and I'm just doing another healthy dose of Mod Podge all over the first coat of glitter. And this time I am using ice from the glitter guy. And this gave me exactly what I wanted. And ice is a... Um, hack glitter but it has a nice sparkle in it and you'll see it's beautiful but I mean it's a hack but it's white on white so really there's no hack to it but yeah anyway this gave me exactly what I wanted
So once that dried, I took my alcohol ink and this one is coffee and there's really no name on it, but I'll put the, um, it in the description box below. I got it off of Amazon and this is a brown and then this is Let's Resin Alcohol Ink in Black. All, everything that I use will be in the description box below. So I'm going to just start making cow prints. Um, I'm doing kind of a two-tone and it's not real obvious but I just wanted a little bit of the brown and it's a dark brown. Um, with a lot of black so once you drop the ink on it does spread and it's it's really cool so I drop a little bit of the brown and then I'll surround with the black around it and it'll kind of mix together and it makes a really cool cow print um, I just think this is the coolest thing ever I've seen other people do this um, and I just had to try it for myself. And I'm just so happy that it worked and it didn't turn into a complete and utter, get it, utter, <laughs> um, <laughs> hot mess. I cracked myself up. Anyway, enjoy, enjoy this. I absolutely love it. Now I'm leaving a big space open because I'm going to put a decal there and I absolutely love the decal. It's super cute and funny. And just doing little spots because um, like on a real cow they have little spots as well. And then once this alcohol, I let this alcohol dry um, overnight because um, alcohol sometimes tends to act weird under resin. So I did let this dry and once I did, I did put a coat of, actually I put two coats of epoxy on it, but look how cute that is. And here's where I'm going to put the decal. I just love how this turned out. And the thing with alcohol is you cannot necessarily control where it goes and the way it spreads. So here we go. Two coats of epoxy. I cleaned up the rim and um, I purchased a decal off of Etsy it's in the description box below and um, I printed out on water slide now it's backwards of course and I sealed it with um, two times Rust-Oleum clear 
and um, I printed it backwards because um, I'm gonna cut it out and put it upside or put it on backwards and slide it off. Um, so I cut it out and I have a bowl of water sitting next to me so I can put my water slide in. Um, and for the life of me, I can't read backwards right now. Um, but you'll see what it says <laughs> and I can't remember. Um, but it's, it's such a cute saying. So I let it sit in the, and this is room temperature water. I just let it sit for a few minutes, um, get my tumbler wet so that the decal, the water slide, also, when it slides off the paper, it actually has, you know, room to slide. And you'll know that the water slide is done when it starts to slide off the backing of the paper. Um, and I just take it out and just gently slide it. And there we go. And I turn it upside down, lay it down on where I want up my tumbler. And then just gently press down on the tum or the backing and slide it off. And and here you can see that it says oh, I still can't my fingers run away. I'm not the sweet girl next door. I'm the crazy heifer down the street. I just thought that was the funniest thing, and I had to get it to put on this tumbler. So I'm taking this um, silicone, most people use it for makeup, but it comes in all of my tumbler kits. And um, here it was kind of bunching up, so I just gently removed some of the excess water slide away from the, I cut it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just squeegeeing out the excess water from underneath the water slide. Um, using the tilt the silicone tool and um, once I get all of the excess water out um, you just gotta be very gentle because you don't want to rip your water slide um, but once you do that I do take a paper towel and I'll just blot um, I think I'll blot it to make sure that I get up oh, here I'm cutting away where it's kind of bunching up and once you put this under epoxy after it's dry, of course, you can't even see the edges of the water slide at all. And it looks like it's completely one piece. It's water slide underneath epoxy is amazing. And you don't have to deal with vinyl. Anyway, so I just continue to make sure that I work out all the water from underneath the water slide. Um, you don't want to leave any water trapped under there because if you do, one, it can mess with your epoxy, and two, if there's anything trapped under there, you'll definitely see that. Um, once you go to put on your epoxy, you'll see a bubble. It just, it won't look pretty at all. So I just continue to work it out to make sure that absolutely all of that water that's trapped underneath the water slide is out. And this is where I'm blotting the excess water that's on there. And then once I'm done with this, I'll let this dry for several hours. Um, I don't seal it after it's done because it's already been sealed. Uh, once I know that it is definitely good and dry, I do put another coat, possibly two if I need it. But I only put one more coat on this. And then it was good to go.
So after about 12 hours of that last coat of epoxy, I took it off and it was time to clean up the rim for the last time. So I just run my X-Acto knife around the rim, getting off any extra epoxy that may have gotten on there um, and removed it. Then I took some alcohol and a paper towel and cleaned up the outside and the inside just to get it nice and wiped down. And then I did grab the lid to make sure that it did fit and nothing had hindered it from fitting. This particular lid for this tumbler is such a cool thing. It has two spouts. There's a, a normal drinking one and then in the middle is a lid and then you can close it up if you don't want to use that part it's so cool anyway it's such a cute tumbler but i absolutely hope that you enjoyed this video here is the finished tumbler so cute thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a great big thumbs up and if you want to purchase this tumbler it is now available on my website until the next video. Bye guys.